Hey guys, we are at the International Sportsman's Expo in Denver, Colorado, and we had some guys come and help us. This is Perry Sacalaris and Mr. John Sacalaris, and they came to help us at the show. We really appreciate y'all just coming and being a part of what we've got going on here. Really appreciate y'all for doing that. Um, but we wanted to tell you, I met I, I met Perry when he was shorter than me. That that's, was a, a good little while ago. Yeah, quite a while ago. <laughs> And, uh, but you're only, what, 16, 17, 17 years old. Uh, we met him when he was, what, 12? Yeah. About 12 years old. We met him when he was 12, and he came up to the booth. We were selling some knives, and he came up to the booth, and uh, he loved the knife so much, he went, he went and sold the knife he had on you, yes, sir. and bought another knife, right? Buy your knife. He bought, yeah, that's right. <laughs> He loved the, look, the African knife makers make unbelievable stuff. Um, the knife you bought, do you remember which one it was? I do, it was a Vulture model with the Croc handle. Vulture model, Croc handle, it's an Arna Bernard Vulture model, and it's part of the Scavenger series. It's a great knife. And you still have that knife? I do not, I, I ended up selling it quite a while ago. All right, so he <laughs> sold the knife, he bought the knife, and then he resold it. But he sold it because um, we actually started talking, and we talked to John, and John came up to us at the show and said, look, because this it was the second show, we did a Dallas Safari Club and then we did SCI. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but basically he bought a knife at Dallas, then bought another knife at SCI, walking around with two knives on his hip, just walking around. And uh, and I remember this, and so John approached us and asked us, said, can we can we maybe sell your knives at our outfitter? At that time, y'all were at uh, Vermeer Hill Park. That's correct. Yep. Right, and that's uh, Ted Turner's ranch, and they were there, and they were you were the outfitter there. That's right. And these guys were were just little scamps running around him and his brother Aaron, and they they decided they wanted to sell knives. And I think the first year you sold what like 150 knives or something. You sold quite a few, 150, then it just started growing from there. Yeah, they just started. They just started selling more and more knives, and they, they learned a few things. Now, can you tell us, as you sold knives to these guys that would come, what, what would you, what did you learn? Well, first of all, I learned that people love when a kid sells knives. They just love that me and my little brother were, you know, hassling them for knives, trying to get them to buy it. Then we learned kind of what people liked and what different handles and blade types they liked. So we'd order more of those and sell more of those. So. And once you get the word out there, people tell their friends and, and get more people buying knives. Right, so he learned how about business, right? Pretty much. Right, so, and you were there the whole time. What did you think about your son selling knives? Oh, I loved it. I loved the uh, business lessons, right, that came from it, marketing, margins, uh, profit and loss, um, the interaction, right, the growth that they had interacting with other adults and uh, in the business world was, uh, enjoyable to see in a uh, lifelong lesson that they're going to carry through their careers and, and we have you to thank for that Nathan and um, actually we're continuing along those lines today we're partnering with Nathan uh, going forward in uh, his new ventures with uh, custom African knives so, yeah. uh, very bright future really looking forward to, to working with you down the road now I, I love the, the one fact though, they learned about business, they learned about um, you know how to profit and loss and all those things, and that's what you're going to do whenever you start a business. But I love the fact that you saved all your money. Yes sir, saved it all for college. Yeah. Preparing for, for the future. Yeah, that's what I love. So when he told me that, I was like, we got to get this on video because he saved all his money for future investment into his business, right, your, 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 your um, schooling. And that's very important. And so uh, there might be some of you guys out there who are entrepreneurs and say, hey, what do I do? Well, you find something you love, right? Right. You find something you really like to do. You, you, you just you. put yourself out there. You start doing it. You only sold a few knives at first, and then it just began to snowball. And so we're going to help you uh, put together a website. We're going to help you continue to grow that business. And we appreciate y'all helping us out at the International Sports Expo here in Denver. No problem. Thank you. Our Thanks pleasure, Dave. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure to have y'all here. All right, see you guys a little later.